everyone, and welcome back to Brink of Speed. My name is Mike, and today we are going to talk about this most expensive Grand Sport Corvette in the world. And by the way, this Grand Sport probably isn't the most expensive one ever built, but it's got to be close, and this excludes the aftermarket Grand Sports like Callaway's, Hennessy, and so on. So, I did this video for a few reasons. Number one, I wanted to do it for the people who have uh, never done something like this. They've never gone on to Chevy's website and actually taken the time to uh, build whatever Corvette that they wanted to build. And secondly, I also wanted to do this to show you how I would build my Grand Sport if I ever did so. And by the way, I'm sure there's quite a few of you that are on my channel that already know that I would like a Grand Sport. And uh, honestly, if I had it all to do over again, I would own a Grand Sport, not a Z06. And thirdly, I wanted to show you how expensive this Grand Sport Corvette can be if you build it with everything that I personally would want on it. It's crazy that this Grand Sport starts at $66,000 and by the time I was done adding everything that I would want, it was way over that. Also, I'm just going to throw this out there, but you should pay close attention to all the things I like on my Corvettes. This may give you some insight on how I will order the C8 mid-engine Corvette. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I'm here at Chevy's website. So let's go to vehicles up here at the top. And let's go over to performance. And let's go over to Grand Sport. And then we're gonna come down here almost to the bottom right and go to build and price. And here we go. So, this just starts it out with a black car here. And if you look here at the top right, we're at $66,995 for a net price on a brand new Grand Sport. And by the way, this is a 2019. So let's go to the next step, which is trim levels. Now, a lot of people say you don't need to go over a 2LT, but the reason why I go over uh, a 2LT and pick a 3LT is because I really like the Alcantara leather that comes uh, all over this car when you go to that 3LT package. So that's the first package I'm picking and that as you can see is going to uh, jump the price up $10,000 just with that package. Next let's go to colors. Now, you guys know my Z06 is Laguna Blue, and the next best thing to that is the brand new Elkhart Lake uh, Blue Metallic. So we're gonna click on that, and then we're gonna scroll down here, and we're going to pick the seats that I love with this, which are Adrenaline Red, and they come with the Alcantara inserts here in the seats and I'll click over here so you guys can see as you can see here the Alcantara right there on the middle of the seats okay let's go to the next step now this is where my favorite package comes into play and it's down here it's this Z07 performance package we're gonna click on that that adds almost eight thousand dollars and by the way uh, Besides the suspension that it comes with, it also comes with my favorite uh, carbon ceramic brakes, which as you guys know, I am a track guy, so that is very important for that. And it's also very important because of the fact that I hate brake dust. So let's go to the next step, which is interior. And the first thing I'm gonna do, or I'm sorry, exterior, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the wheels. Uh, these are my favorite wheels for the Grand Sport. They are black and they have the little red stripe around them. We're already at about 21,000 more than we started at. Just 
with those packages. Okay, next, uh, as most of you know, uh, I have an eight speed automatic in my current Z06. And the reason for that is uh, my lovely wife uh, likes to drive my car and she does not know how to drive a stick. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with that eight speed, which adds $2,000. We're also going to change the brake calipers from uh, being gray metallic to red painted. So let's go ahead and select those and I'm gonna change this view. Now you guys can see the red calipers here. All right, now my next favorite thing about Grand Sports are the hash marks. And we're gonna go ahead and click on these fender hash marks and add them in torch red. So now you guys can see the beautiful hash marks here. And then, uh, this is something that I've always loved and that is the visible carbon fiber roof panel with body color. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on that. And now let's go ahead and Click on an overview. So now you can see there's a carbon fiber roof panel here. And then, oh, uh, where's the hood? I want the hood to be, oh, here we go. I gotta go back up here. Visible carbon fiber weave hood insert, which is gonna be the stinger. So now you can see there's carbon fiber here on the stinger. Look at that, we're at 94,695. All right, now we're going to do the carbon flash painted mirrors. And by the way, while I'm on this portion, for some reason I can't figure out why this is, but this program, and I'm gonna make this bigger so you guys can see, uh, it will not allow me to make this carbon flash and this carbon flash on the spoiler back here. And I really want both of those to be carbon flash. So if anybody knows how to do that, please let me know. Um, now, uh, the, the second um, thing that I really love doing is the visible carbon fiber ground effects. So we're gonna click on that. I should say the next thing, not second. So now you can see I've got stage three on the uh, side skirts. I have stage two on the rear wing and stage two on the front splitter. And that's all carbon fiber. So I think that's it, except for down here at the bottom, as you can see, Corvette Museum delivery. I've always wanted to do that. So for almost a thousand dollars, we're gonna go ahead and click that. Okay, next is the interior. Now this is where I get very frustrated. I really want this red interior with the black inserts, but when I change to what I really want, which is competition sport bucket seats, that all goes away. And I don't understand why uh, GM has not made this so I can have uh, both. So now that I've clicked that, I hate this gray interior. So now I've got to go back to colors and I've got to go down here to the seats. And the only option out of all of these options that I like is this one. And the reason why I like this one, it's almost $1,600, is because it gives me Alcantara on my armrest here, on the uh, dash here, up here on the dash, and then of course back in the middle of the seats. But if you check out this picture, and I'll zoom in on this, it also gives me carbon fiber on the steering wheel on the top and the bottom, and it gives me the carbon fiber on the dash up here. Okay, so let's go to the next step. Um, let's see. I do like the red seatbelt. I know that's kind of expensive for a little upgrade but i do like the way that looks and i'm trying to stick with a um you know an all uh, blue and then red contrast 
obviously with the brake calipers, the hash marks. Uh, yeah, I do want these uh, door sill plates. I don't know if there's any picture that'll show that. No, there's not. It's about a $300 option and it just gives you uh, down here, maybe this will show it. Yeah, there we go. Now you can see the little door sill Grand Sport. That's pretty neat. And I think that is going to do it. So here you have a almost $103,000 Grand Sport. And this car is not even a Z06 or a ZR1 and we're well over $100,000. So obviously I didn't build this and buy it, but I wanted to show you guys how expensive this car can get. And honestly, if I didn't care about major depreciation and care about getting the best bang for my buck, uh, and I just had, <clears throat> excuse me, millions of dollars to throw away, uh, honestly, I would build a Grand Sport just like this and have it built for me at the factory and go pick it up and love every minute of it. But obviously I've got to use my brain and if I'm going to get a Grand Sport, it's going to be a used Grand Sport. Now obviously I will try and find it as close to this spec as I can if I end up going that route, but uh, I would never get on here and build this and actually buy it in current, you know, situ with my current situation. So. Anyway, uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this. I hope everybody that has never done this before, uh, you know, really got a kick out of this and really learned from this. And so if you enjoyed this video, make sure and give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment if you know any of the answers to my questions. Uh, also leave me a comment if you just wanna, you know, talk about the video and how you liked it or disliked it. And if you have not joined the Brink of Speed community yet, make sure and hit that red subscribe and the bell notification so that you're notified when my new content comes out. But with that being said, I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I'll see you out on the road.